Kingdom Come Deliverance has a lot to offer when it comes to making the potions. As many other RPGs, first you collect herbs, then you add an extra ingredients and you can make a potion. We are in Ratai, where we will brew a potion and in this case it will be a savior schnapps, which will allow us to save a game in any moment. You can also buy herbs in Apothecary. There are many variations of potions for many occasions. For example, Amor Potion will increase charisma for a couple of minutes. Nighthawk Potion will allow you to see better at night. Or Vitality Potion will heal you from wounds, just to say about few of them. To access an alchemy tables, one of them is here, you have to learn how to brew a potion in the first place. You can do it in Apothecary. Now we approach the table to start alchemy. Most important information is that there are few steps to brew a potion. Kingdom Come Deliverance is very immersive in this case. In front of us is a cauldron, when we will put all of the ingredients. There is a dish, mortar, pestle, and more on the right, a book with potions recipes. And this is our point of interest for now. Let's see how the recipe looks like. On the left we can see Save Your Snaps recipe, on the right we can see ingredients, wine, a nettle and two belladonnas. You have to have those ingredients to make a potion. Now let's switch a book. Here is a list of herbs you can find in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Each of the herbs is very well described and you can learn a lot about each of the herbs. Let's go through a couple of pages so you can see a few of the herbs and go back to the recipe. If you have all of the ingredients in one of your many pockets, there is an active prepare command on the right side of the screen. When you hit it, all of the herbs will go on the shelf in front of us, where from we will have an easy access. In the next step we will put wine, which is on the left, into the cauldron. Then we will take two handfuls of belladonna, which we will put in the mortar to crush it. It's good to make those preparations before we restart the fire. You have to be careful to make no mistake. Each of the steps is well written in the recipe book where you can always to check if you do things in the right way. As you can see, we have to prepare wine, two handfuls of belladonna and one nettle. First, we have to boil the nettle in wine for two turns. It means to set the fire twice. Then we have to grind the belladonna, but we'll do it in a second. And then Belladonna goes to the cauldron where we have to set fire once. At the end we'll take a file which is on the left under the wine and we will pour the potion into the file. Let's start with the wine which we will put in the cauldron. Next we will take the Belladonna. Yes, we are in the middle of the process. Sure, the procedure is not easy. It is not one click of the button and we are ready to go. None so far games have accustomed us to convenience. Here we have to make an effort in preparations to get the herbs, recipes and to do all of those steps. And it is a good thing. As I mentioned this earlier, it's more immersive and it gives us more of the joy from the game. When you have to work for something, you will care more. Remember that every time you need it, you can go check to your recipe book. When I started to play Kingdom Come Deliverance, I didn't care about potions, but in time, this world showed me that this is necessary. There are so many occasions where you can use it, and if you will try it for once, for sure you will use to it. Now let's put the nettle into the cauldron and you will see how wine will change its color. Then we will start the fire. And remember, we have to do it with the nettle twice. Here is the first one and we can warm up a little bit. Well, just for a few seconds. And here goes the fire for a second time. You see? Very easy. Now let's check what to do next. 
we have to put the green dead belladonna into the card room. And it's right on time. The fire stopped. We take the dish with belladonna and just throw it into the cauldron. This will be our last ingredient. Let's make the fire for the last time. It's almost there. The only thing left to do is to put potion into the file. It's on the left. We just take the file into the hand and pour the potion to it from the cauldron. And that is all. We are done. At this occasion I reached a new level of in alchemy. Let's see the recipe book for uh, last time for more advanced recipe. We have here more ingredients and recipe itself has more steps. But that's okay. Because when you will explore the world of Kingdom Come Deliverance, there are many, many herbs around. You just have to pick one from time to time. It is good to have in your pocket one or two of Savior Snaps. In the hardcore mode you can't save anytime you want and this potion will be useful just for that. So let's go to explore or for our next quest. Thank you for watching and be well.